It's a lead brick. With that on the scale, I'm breathing hard because I had to carry this lead brick 325 feet, excuse me, up about an 18% slope. All right, it weighs 26.2 pounds. That's where my lead plates are. I brought one up here and we weighed it. It makes my heart beat walking up here. I moved into the mountains, but I wouldn't be a city guy because I wanted to live longer. I watched my family drop dead of heart disease. So that's one of the reasons I live in the mountains and live the way I do. It's just to make myself be physical. So I used to run a lot. I'm not going to make the Olympic team or anything. I just ran a lot. I could run a marathon in under three hours. It wasn't you know, obviously going to get me anywhere, but I could do it. But running with even 20 pounds is a big deal. So when you put 50 pounds and you start running three miles, I don't care who's chasing you, your three-year-old's going to catch you. You're just not going to go anywhere. I was going to calculate out the weight of those gold plates. I know it's been done before. It's not hard to figure, but here's someone who did it. You can look at the photographs. So gold's about 1,200 pounds a cubic foot, and copper's around 550. So here's our lead brick, about 8 by uh, 4 by maybe 2. Just for weight usage, not dimensions per se. You're going to have two of these to get to 55 pounds. And now you're going to run some miles with some meanies chasing you. So if you follow these lines of reasoning out, you'll come up with this weight of uh, 50 to 80 pounds based on a rough size of 6 by 8 by 6, 7 by 8 by 6, whatever. Now you might receive some plates like that, but you're not going to run very far with them, 50 or 80 pounds. Uh, it's just not going to happen. You could run with, say, 20 pounds like that. Joseph Smith was no uh, jock. He was a little pudge. Running three miles itself is a feat, you know. At top speed, you're going to run, say, a six and a half minute mile, a six minute mile, a sub six minute mile. Well, now you're going to put weight on this. You're not going to pick up 20 pounds and do that. You'd be under stressful conditions, being pursued, the sense of violence in the dark, not knowing who your pursuers are, believing violence is intended against you. I'm going to cut these pell-mell miles. I don't think it's going to happen. And it just seems to me that if he found all of this here, and he describes this great war as occurring at Kumora, why would it be in a Kumora in such another location so many thousands of miles away? Those glasses you see in the hand there are the Uma Thurman, as I affectionately call them, the Urim and Thummim. Um, my description that I recall reading made him sound larger than that, much larger, but regardless, that would be the Uma Thurman. And then you got that sort of Laban down there, as I recall. Um, text should show you. What's it say? Sort of Laban and uh, breastplate. I came up with this breastplate stuff reading through... Uh, American antiquities and discoveries in the West. I posted some of that. I came across this Roman breastplate crap down in South America, reading Prescott's uh, Conquest of Peru and Conquest of Mexico. I don't know what to make out of it if it's true. Uh, if it's mythology, then it has to get into Freemasonry because they just suck this shit up and spew it back out. Um, so you'll never know if it was discovered or not, and the best thing is to assume it was never discovered because you'll never find it. The lack of evidence is not the compelling force to believe it. Believe it or not. Why is every truth that's so vital to Mormonism always far away, unattainable, unviewable, cannot be verified, but anything we want to verify, a book of Abraham, a kinderhook plate, I shan't go on, leads us to an irrefutable conclusion. And I'm not going to pursue it further, but there are numerous stories about the rituals he had to go through to acquire this, you know, the colors he had to wear, the color of the horse, uh, words he had to say, there was some bloodletting. Uh, you can find this yourself, it's not difficult to research. Uh, there's just too many witnesses talking about it.